You saw the 30 minutes and you're not even dressed. Really? Well, let's do something about it. Well, what do you think? So much better. Well, I'm Philip Doc Martin. This week we're going to South Carolina. This is part two. Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, let's get it, baby. Let's go. So where were we? Last episode, I got a sign from my dental practice, headed to Columbia, South Carolina for my Giga Chase Lounge, and had an epic lunch. Saturday, it was go time, and I needed to get to the club for sound check. I had no car, so I put in a call to the music director of Chase Lounge, Rodney Foster. He was so cool, man. This guy went above and beyond and came and scooped me up from the hotel. Arrived on location, and when I walked into the club, I was immediately impressed at the nice, cozy feel of the place. It was a nice club. All ran by the sweetest lady, Shay Alexander. Met the other musicians playing the gig and got a rehearsal. In. What most people don't realize is that as a touring musician these days, promoters and club owners save money by using local house bands to play behind artists. What makes this stressful is that city to city and state to state, you have no idea what type of band you're gonna get. Fortunately for me in this case, Rodney and his band were amazing and did their homework. We barely had to go over anything. It was a small club, so I went to the restroom to get myself together. Ah, there we go. Nice. It's showtime, baby. Let's see how things went. So many cool people, even a couple that flew from Tennessee just to come see me play. After the gig, Rodney and the band took me downtown where we went to this cool spot called The Joint. The walls were lined with all these famous people that played there. It seemed like every musician comedian in the area came out to this place to hang after their gig. I met so many musicians, got dialed in with some old fashions, and the festivities began. I can't even describe to you how much fun we had. I even met a James Brown impersonator who later caught a five and sat in with the band. At this point, I was starving, so Rodney took me next door to this place called Transmission, which was a real interesting bar that even had vintage video games. However, what they were known for were these smoked wings, so I got some, took a bite, and was immediately blown away. Easily top three smoked wing I've ever had. It had a smoke flavor that I've never had before and paired with this Carolina gold barbecue sauce, it was out of sight. Have you all eaten here? I would say this was an amazing week of music, dentistry, food, and friendship, and I can't wait for the next. Until next time!